Welcome back, everybody. We are back. It is the middle of August. We haven't put out a video for three weeks. That's a lot. That's not too bad, actually. A lot has been going on, and we are super excited to fill you all in on that in this video. Yeah, we uh, are standing on our foundation and slab for our new Rammed Earth project, which I pushed through the month of July to get everything prepped and ready because we are hosting a Rammed Earth workshop. Yeah, a and... month long Rammed Earth workshop, which we've talked about in previous videos. Yeah, so in pushing for everything, I didn't completely have my plans 100% complete. And then I was also very consumed with my time to get this ready for the Rammed Earth course. And I didn't submit. Sorry, go ahead. I didn't submit the proper documents for our building permit. And hence, we got a stop work order. That happened. So they came by and uh, weren't super impressed. However, we have since submitted everything yeah. um, in order to keep on moving. So yeah, we're on the up and up, but unfortunately. Not yet. I, we have to fix some things. But... We're getting towards the up and up. <laughs> yes, we want to. We want to make the relationship right with uh, with the uh, authority here. So yeah, unfortunately, where we live is not completely off grid and is still connected to um, authority people in some way. So we do have to submit permits when we want to build on our property. So mm -hmm. this slab is. Um, quite intense so they dug you what did you guys do you dug the foundation what's the size of it it's 30 feet by 50 feet so 1500 square feet yeah so we cleared this in this area um dug how far deep did you guys go for foundation uh we're about four and a half to five feet depending on the grade yeah. and you can see behind us it's a lot deeper but yeah. at the front so the footings sit four foot below grade which is below frost so it stops heaving yeah and then you went ahead and did what for the in-floor heating? Okay, so we did first the footing, the foundation walls, um, and we had to do all the formwork for that with a whole bunch of steel in there as per our, our engineer. And then once that was done, we did all our backfill, and then we did the, slab, the, the prep for the slab. So there's insulation underneath where we're standing, and then there's hydronic lines as well as plumbing, and we're standing on drains in the floor for what are we building? We are building what's sometimes referred to as a carriage house. Mm -hmm. um, we'll do a little B-roll of a render of it. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. And so a shop, a shop, the whole main floor um, when you drive up will be a shop with um, garage doors that we can park our vehicles in in the winter. Mm -hmm. And then above, we're going to have a two-bedroom suite. The, what had happened with the workshop, as some of you know that's been following along, is we had this workshop planned for months in advance. Not that many months because they had uh, they had projects. You sure like to correct me a lot. No, but it's not that. It's because if if we, I think if I, what I want to get at is if we had more time to plan, we would have had our permits put in place. Yeah. Okay. So that it was a bit of a rush. Yeah, it was. To try and make everything. James happen. worked like, it, it was crazy. His brother, Travis, was here. Um, they just worked from sun up till sundown. It was nuts getting this ready. And it was a week prior to the workshop being held. And the plan for the workshop was to build this entire back wall, like the whole back 50 foot of this carriage house that we're building is planned to be a rammed earth wall. So that was what was planned for the workshop. Mm -hmm. Um, so the week prior to the workshop is when we got our lovely visitor and notice. So we had a week to plan and decide what we wanted to do for the workshop. So I guess that takes us to our next little ditty. Plan B. Plan B. Yes. So. We did it. Yeah. We uh, <laughs> had to switch gears. So where we live, we are permitted to build um pretty much whatever we want under 10 square meters which equates to 107 square feet so we are building a rammed earth sauna yes we are we'll have to take you over there we'll also show you a render of what that looks like yeah and that's it's gonna be awesome yeah, so we wanted to ensure that we were able to provide 
uh, provide the right amount of work or pro provide a project for the people coming from all over the place. There's people from uh, the UK, Wales, uh, Wales actually, mm -hmm. um, Germany is on week three. Mm -hmm. We got people from the USA. Lots of people from people the from state, Canada, all over Canada. El Salvador. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've actually just completed our first. Our first week. First week. Yeah. And we had it was project. awesome. Yeah, it was. It went really well. It, it went really, really well. Really we, fun. We built our first wall of the sauna. So the sauna again, like we had that extra week and in, in before the workshop was to start. Thank goodness, because they dug and poured a little mini foundation for the um, sauna. sauna. We should head over there. Yeah, we're gonna head over there. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go over there. Okay. I'm excited to show you guys the wall. And I just wanted to say, in case I forget to say it over there, I've filmed the entire first week as much as I could because my nephew is visiting. Um, he's seven and he has my heart and he's from Tasmania and I don't see him very often. So I was trying to juggle both, but I got a ton of good footage of our first week of the course and I'm planning on putting out um, a sequential bunch of videos to take you through the entire three weeks that we have the course going and then we might do a live stream on the last week we'll see how things go see if i can get my technical stuff ready but yeah look out for that coming up um and yeah okay let's go over there and show them the wall cool yeah okay We're at the sauna. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so this is the first wall of the sauna that the workshoppers completed last week. Is that what it, we're calling them? Work yeah, shoppers. workshoppers. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. We'll show you some close-ups of it. Uh, we use the same um, colors pigment as we did with our Ramder geothermal greenhouse. So it ties in really nicely. Uh, you maybe saw from the drone shots where it's situated on our property. So it's just sort of tucked in behind the greenhouse. So we'll be able to see the greenhouse from the sauna and the sauna from the greenhouse. I mean, it's a happy accident, I guess you would call it. It's something we wanted. It's something we wanted, but... Just, we got pushed in a, this direction. So yeah. yeah, when you get a stop work order, you build a sauna, right? <laughs> So we, we under still, 10 yeah. foot meters squared sauna <laughs> so it's probably also important to just go over the size so this is 12 foot by 8 foot um, and one directional slope roof and we still also have to maintain setbacks from our property lines uh, you can't just put it right on the edge there's still requirements that that we have to meet with it so we're over that in all directions and this is also a good fit because it uh, for the location because between our glass greenhouse and our round earth greenhouse if you're walking towards the greenhouses you're going to see this structure um, and, and we have some cool plants so we've got some um, one of the walls that we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks has these little privacy slits on them changed it you did yeah we're going to do something cooler okay yeah. well i'll have to get james to give me the rendering to put in this video so that i know what's going on that's but... not in the rendering no um, yeah, so the wall is amazing. Um, like I said, I filmed this, the entire build of this wall and I'm going to be putting together, uh, start to finish videos on how to build rammed earth walls. I've been given the blessing of the gentleman who's putting on the workshop, uh, Max. And yeah, we're just going to be doling out as much information as we can for you guys for rammed earth because there isn't a lot out there hmm. so make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell because 
the videos are just going to be going out as I can get the footage and get the editing out. And if you haven't noticed, we are, I guess you could say, passionate about Round Earth <laughs> and alternative building. Yeah, um, we are. <laughs> so we, we feel really lucky to be able to host the course and meet meet, meet people from yeah. all, all areas of yeah the world, really. So Yeah, that's the one, that's something that's really cool about the workshop is the people that it attracts and who we get to meet mm -hmm. and spend a week with us on our property. So we're really enjoying that and we're going to share that part with you guys as well. And yeah, it was it was satisfying to see them gain a better understanding throughout the week. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then the uh, when we the best part, I think, for doing the round earth is the reveal. Mm -hmm. So you finish the wall and then it has to sit and cure overnight. Yeah. And um, then you tear it all down, um, all of the forming piece by piece, strip, strip it. it down. And um, I have a really good time lapse of that that I'll share with you. And even as they were stripping it, they did the front and then the back and then the sides. Um, you, the wall is sort of wet at the beginning and then it slowly dries and the color comes out. Like it's just, it's really cool. It's like unveiling a big piece of art. Um, so yeah, that's I think the funnest part for the workshoppers is to be able to come and see that. And mm -hmm. with Rammed Earth, once the wall is built and rammed and the forming comes off, it's done. It's your, you got it. your wall. Yeah, there is ceiling that has to be done, but that's it. So there's no drywall and paint or anything like that. So it's very cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. And it's always unique. There's like to, to build the same wall twice yeah. and have it look the same. Impossible. And it's not really what you want. I, don't, I wouldn't want that. No. All the, the variation is initially what drew me to it. Yeah. The, and the organic look. I think that we're going to end up with an entire property of rounder yeah. structures. That's what we're going for. <laughs> so if you're into that, you should definitely subscribe. <laughs> Okay. Are we done now? Yeah, I think we're done. So we'll be we'll be back. We'll be back soon. I'm gonna put together all the videos of the the workshop, and then also, I mentioned this before. I am going to do my very best to go do live streaming on the last week of the workshop. I'm gonna put the dates on the screen right now. Um, so we're going to go, it goes Monday to Friday from eight to five. I'm going to be live streaming as much as my phone can handle. So be sure to, um, subscribe, uh, no, subscribe to that. I'll put up a invite thing on our page. I don't know how that works, but you can get into a waiting list. We'll figure it out. Through. Figure it out. Yeah. Probably today or tomorrow. And I'll have a little wait list, like video upcoming live thing on the channel. So be sure to look for that and then getting the waiting room. And then I think it sends you notification when I go live. So if you're interested in sort of being at the workshop virtually, that's going to be awesome for you. Raw and footage. Raw footage. It's going to be real. It's going to be almost like a bit of a reality show. Super fun. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for having patience with us. And we hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day and see you on the next one.